It is safe to say that the rest of the last school year was a bit of a challenge for local parents. And as we wait for that guidance from the state about the upcoming school year, how are parents feeling about sending their kids back? Tonight, Two On Your Side's Jackie Roberts had a candid conversation with parents from all over Western New York. This family in Lancaster is among the many waiting for answers as to what school will look like this fall. I have my fingers crossed that the kids are going back to school. I'm thinking a lot about the, oh my, how is this going to work aspect of it. Carwin says different kids have different needs when it comes to social interaction. But she says for some, remote learning could have a negative impact. I think there are kids who are suffering from depression. I think my 12 year old is at risk. Brandy Harper, a parent in Lockport, says she'd be confident in sending her kids back to school. Even if it only ends up being like a half a day, still something is better than nothing right now. Harper also stressed the importance of social interaction. I feel like for me especially, it's more beneficial because I do have a child with a learning disability and he really benefits more from the in person. But many parents reached out to us saying sending kids back to school is too risky. I'd rather us get it right, make the sacrifices and make sure everyone's healthy as opposed to uh, someone getting sick. Gregory believes social distancing and maintaining proper sanitation throughout the day would be near impossible. He worries about another spike in COVID-19 cases. We're making so much progress in New York. I think that would just push us all the way back to the starting point. Laura Kewick in Hamburg sees the issue from many sides as a teacher and a parent. There are options out there because I have older children, but other families who have younger children are in a harder position to work out child care or daycare as they transition back to work too. She says she would potentially be comfortable sending her kids back to in-classroom instruction. As long as there are safety precautions, they have access to washing their hands, access to wearing their mask, um, not sharing lockers or materials. But as parents plan for the fall, uncertainty lingers. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.